when I'm teaching young horse, I put my weight in my L6 needle. So I do two here. When I have a horse that is already used to these things, since we are bending right, you want him to bend into the into where your weight is. Okay. So I can teach him that. The weight should be in the right seat bone. And then I find this outside leg is opening and allowing. But it's also maybe pushing down a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So that I'm giving him also that cue to move into the direction of where I'm doing pressure downward. Mm -hmm. Putting more weight in that stirrup. So I'm opening up the leg, allowing him to move through. I'm pushing my heel down a little bit farther, which is putting more weight in the direction of the motion that I want. Mm -hmm. At the same time, my in an inside seat bone gets weighted because I want him bending in that direction. Okay? I know that's a lot of things all at once, but it, it is because, and I've been told by different people, oh, your weight should be in your outside seat bone in the direction of the motion. Your weight should be in your inside seat bone in the direction of the bend. Well, I think that there's a happy medium in between the two. And it might depend on what, how well trained the horse are on. Yes. I, yeah, know, a person shouldn't learn how to ride from a book, but I have this book by some French guy who's done everything I can Yeah, the meaning? adjustments in the training process. Yeah. Most definitely. Let's go ahead and change direction. And let's start leg yield on the wall this direction. So as you're coming through the turn, you're going to be switching your bend to the right just slightly to the outside. Right leg comes back, there you go. And left rein half halts the forward, bring the forehand to the wall, push the hind quarter in. There. Good. Good. <laughs> yep, that's okay. Still be thinking forward. And then little pushes with your leg. And, but still maintain your forward. Don't run him into the wall. You want to half halt both reins back towards your hip to keep him off the wall and redirect the motion going sideways. Try again next long side. Kind of process this a little bit. Walk around, think about it. Think about the same thing that you did last direction. Being the same aids for this direction. Your outside aids. Outside leg is pushing. Outside rein is pulsing just a little bit for your bend. You know, you've got all that. So now you want a little more displacement. Half all, both reins back towards your hips. And a little more displacement. Nothing more with the head and neck. So that right leg back farther. Get it back there. There. Get control of the hindquarter. Because remember, that's what you want to feel right now. You're riding the hindquarter. There. And now it comes around. There. Don't let him run into the wall. So if he goes forward instead of sideways, half halt both reins. That was a little bit better. Let's do that same thing again. There. Yes. Same thing next long side. Really think about your preparation and process this. 